Hey, how's it going YouTube? In this video, we are going to be putting down the Rust-Oleum epoxy professional version uh, floor coating. Uh, so first I'm gonna start off with pressure washing the garage floor. So I've got the pressure washer over there. It's mainly dirty from a bunch of drywall mud and sanding. Uh, there's really not many oil spots, uh, maybe that, but that was here before I uh, got here, but I'm gonna start with the pressure washing that should take care of most of it And then I'll have degreaser and etching to go after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get pressure washing uh, This is pretty much the first step is getting the garage floor clean um, And then we're gonna have a great looking garage floor after this hopefully so let's get to work All right, after several hours, it took a lot longer than I expected, but uh, after a couple hours, we are done pressure washing. The garage turned out okay. It's a lot cleaner than it wa what it was, but it also revealed a lot of spots that I didn't know were there, problem areas. But I've got the fan running to dry the underside of the drywall. I'm gonna move that around every couple hours. And I've also got the dehumidifier running on the AC unit. Otherwise, that's just the first step of the process, pressure washing the floor. It's what I chose to do. There's many other different methods, uh, but next we gotta continue cleaning, get some of this paint off of the floor that I couldn't get off. Uh, there's some black spots in here I couldn't get, so probably manually scraping it and using whatever other products I can uh, find or use to get that last bit of material off. All the hard work is in the prep, so gotta take our time doing this and then we'll have a great final product. All right, so you just saw us uh, brushing with some suds this uh, left side of the garage. So let me explain what we're doing. We are using the Rust-Oleum cleaner and degreaser product to pull up any oil spills uh, that are in the concrete. So we're using this product. Um, it's a one-to-one -one mixture for the most part. So we're using a little one gallon kind of like weed sprayer to spread it around. You can use whatever you want, but we're just gonna tackle half and half. Um, so we've got this, this side done and now we're gonna do this side, the right side. Um, so you'll get to see us spraying it down and you'll let it sit for 20 minutes, keeping it wet, uh, work its way in. And then you use a brush or broom to work it in a bit more and then uh, spray it out. So that's today's project to get this whole floor done with this product. And then tomorrow we'll be looking at etching. So time to get this other side done. a lot of work so got the whole floor done got the dehumidifier running and I'll have the fan running tonight to dry it off and then tomorrow we will do the etching process but uh, that's gonna be it for today now it's time to get something to eat and a drink okay for today's cleaning exercise we're gonna be using the concrete etch so essentially it's uh, one of these pouches per a two gallon 
jug so we're using a watering can and we'll do half of the watering can in the back left and then another half in this quadrant kind of front left so it'll be four quadrants so one pack we'll take up two quadrants so two packs will do the entire thing so we're going to wet it down first like the instruction says squeeze it off pour this on wait two minutes and then scrub it in so another day of uh, solution and scrubbing so let's get to work All right, it's been about three or four days since that last day where we were etching the concrete. I wanted to make sure that it had several days to make sure it dried out all the way. Um, I was actually gonna do this yesterday, but uh, it rained. So the humidity was above 80 or uh, 80 or 85 and the instructions say you don't want the humidity that high. So uh, humidity is down today, so uh, we're good to go ahead and start transforming this floor with the uh, epoxy. So here's what it looks like, professional kit. Got two of them for this uh, garage. Um, and a bunch of bags of white, white and black flake. Because uh, the flake that comes in the kit is uh, gray, black, and blue, and white. I'm grabbing it out right now. Try not to put a hole in it. But there's the flake that comes in the kit. Um, I just didn't want the blue, really. Um, and there's there's grays in there, and my walls are gray. So I just wanted, well, I can't say that because there's grays in this, but I wanted more white in the floor than what's in there. So picked up some black white and gray for the flaky four picked up one two three four five five of them so hopefully we'll be good to cover the floor quite a bit but now I've already blown out the garage with the the uh, air gun and now it's time to go ahead and start mixing the uh, kits together and um, you know, we're gonna start laying the epoxy down. So stay tuned. All right, here we are. After all the prep work, uh, it's finally time to start painting the floor. We've waited 30 minutes for the activator to uh, do its thing. And we've got the roller. Got a paintbrush to kind of do the trimming. Uh, we don't have to be super careful because we're going to put a actual trim up around the bottom of the floor. Just finished the floor. Now we've got at least 18 or 24 hours to be able to walk on it. I'm probably going to wait longer than that. I don't, I'm not really in a hurry to get back in here, but uh, it came out really nice. I like the, uh, the flakes. It's kind of the uh, look I was going for. Um, what else? 
really easy to put on. We went really thick and we only used one kit. So I read tons of reviews that you need to buy two kits, two of the two car garage kits to do basically a two car garage because one kit does not do it. Well, uh, one kit did it for me and I already mixed both my kits together because I figured one kit was only gonna do about half, but it literally did the entire thing and we were putting it on heavy because we knew we were gonna have a lot left, so we put it on heavy and we still uh, used basically one kit. Now we, we dipped into the other kit just to kind of finish this last little section, but we were putting it on so thick that uh, if you were to kind of dial that back, you would have been able to finish this. So yeah, I don't know. Everybody's reviews said uh, you need two kits to do a uh, two car garage, but uh, this did one and it's about a 400 square foot garage. So, all right, here's the, uh, I won't say final product because we've got some more work to do. We've got a clear to put on and that's gonna be in about three to four days. So we're gonna let this dry three to four days and we've got a clear to put on. So see you then. All right, so it's been a full two days, uh, actually a little bit more than two days, probably about 50 hours since uh, we put this on and it's dry. So I can walk on it, I have walked on it. Uh, and now I'm just gonna give it a little sweep to get any loose flakes or chips off of the floor before we put the clear coat finish on. So I'm just gonna give it a dust, get some of the leaves out that blew in since I had the door open a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and get this pouch, pouch mixed together and uh, get this clear finish put on. All right, it's been three days since we put the clear on and I'm ready to show you guys what it looks like. What a difference. I am super happy with the way this turned out. I apologize for the echo. Gotta get my garage filled up with tools, but I don't have them yet, and toolboxes and cars and whatnot, but uh, we'll get there. But man, I am so happy with the way this floor turned out. Uh, I got a couple things I wanna go through that I learned, and maybe I can pass it on to you if you want to tackle this project. Uh, so right off the bat, first I'll talk about the prep. When you wanna tackle a project like this, the most important thing is the prep. As you know, we spent several days prepping the concrete before we actually got to the fun part, which is putting this down. So definitely be prepared for that. Second is how much I used. I used just one kit, and I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like to do this entire garage. Um, 
So the garage, like I said, it's a bit over 400 square feet. It's about a 22 by 22 foot garage. Um, so just for reference there, but as always, I would probably advise buying another kit. And if you don't use it, then you can return it. Third thing, definitely recommend the clear. The clear really brought this floor to life. Um, I wasn't super impressed. I shouldn't say I wasn't super impressed, but I was, it was a little bit lacking when it didn't have the clear on there. It was, it looked nice. It was a dull gray, uh, kind of resembled the walls. Uh, but after we put the clear on, man, it really brought this floor to life. The reflection on the ground, just how shiny it is. Uh, man, I love the clear. I'm so glad I put the clear on. Uh, I put the clear on to add extra safety and um, you know strength to the floor to hopefully prevent chipping and uh, hot tire pickup and things like that that I've seen some people have problems with but as long as you do all your prep right you shouldn't have those problems but again I just wanted an extra layer of clear to hopefully protect the concrete even more but man I'm so impressed with how bright it made the concrete I would definitely recommend doing it. The next thing is when applying the clear, let's see if I can find a spot. You can really only see it whenever you look across the concrete. Um, but whenever you put the clear down, you put the sand in the clear and mix it all together and you dip your um, roller in the clear with the sand. Uh, we noticed that where we dipped our roller in the product and where we hit the roller or touched the roller to the floor directly after uh, dipping it in the product, that is the spot that got the most sand. So, but really you can only tell when you're trying to look for it and you can really only tell when it's you're looking across the glare of the floor. So maybe just be a little bit more conscious of uh, the roller and try and spread it out a bit more because there's there's a lot of sand here very concentrated and not so much here I also use the entire packet of sand and I think it has just the perfect amount of texture to the floor the sand definitely did add texture and I like the texture it feels good I'm still walking around in um, socks and uh, it feels good I don't think there's gonna be any slipping issues Okay, so I'm gonna try and wrap it up here. I know this video is probably getting a little long by now, but again, the overall finished product I'm super happy with. Uh, came out great. I'm gonna wait a couple more days past what the instructions say before I start pulling cars in here and toolboxes just to be on the safe side. So that's really all I got. I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to respond as if, you know if I know the question. Sometimes I get questions very specific to the manufacturer, um, which I'll just have to refer you to them. But if it's something that I can help with, I will be sure to answer, and I will be sure to do a follow-up video. Uh, I don't know how long, maybe three months, six months, a year. I'm not sure, um, but I'll do a follow-up video to, to let you guys know how uh, how it's holding up. So. Uh, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys learned something and maybe this is something you guys can tackle. Um, and I will see you in the next video. See you later. Thanks a lot.